Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can display any Microsoft Excel alerts that may come up when you're when you're running a macro because there are several times when you might have a very long macro that's running may take like 20-30 minutes to run while your macro is running you know you run out to the water cooler to get some water or take a little small break and you know bad news comes and when you come back to your desk your macro didn't fully execute because some alerts came up and blocked your application from continuing to run. So I'm going to show you how you can disable that for the most part. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to record a macro first off and just call it macro three, and I'm going to have it I'm going to have it delete a sheet. And when you delete the sheet, you see the screen come up. Data may exist in the sheet selection for deletion to permanently delete the data. Press delete. So this is one example of an alert that comes up that stops your macro from running. I'm going to stop recording on that. And I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that. So let's just say if we create a, I'm going to have this sheet right here. I'm going to call it temp sheet. And we want we want our macro to delete that sheet. This is just an, one example. I mean, there are other alerts that, are, that will come up with Excel, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. Right here, if I was to do, sheet 5 which is temporary sheet or sheets temp sheet dot delete and then you know whatever code you have and then message box macro now completed if I was to run the macro the macro never finishes because this screen is still here. Your code is just on pause because of this screen right here. I mean, of course, I hit delete now. Now you get macro now completed. But just to prevent that from happening, this is what you can do. Call this temporary sheet again. Visual Basic. You can do application dot display alerts is equal to false. Your code and then application that display alerts is equal to true. Now we won't get any kind of notification if we run that macro. It just deletes it and macro now completed. And again, this is just a one small example of an alert that may come up in Microsoft Excel. There are several different other alerts that can come up when a macro is running. And again, it's, it's very annoying when you have a, a large macro that's running that can take 20, 30 minutes. You know, you, you, you step away, that way the macro can run and then you come back just to see that an alert stopped your program from running. So for your future reference and to help you out, application.displayalert, setting that to false before your code executes and then setting it back to true after your code executes is very beneficial to prevent those alerts from coming up. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching.